The code of our Arduino is exactly the same. I'm going to do it again in MATLAB. And here in the voice setup is where I'm going to configure my parameters. For that, I'm going to place the parameters of the ITAE criterion of Rovira. So I'm going to create an array of six positions that I call IE, which is for integral error. And we see that here as I'm going to configure this ITAE below, I am going to place all the values from the table below, 965 minus 25. And so then the first one corresponds to a asterisk, the second B asterisk, C asterisk, D asterisk, and so on. Then I proceed to program these three parameters. We see that KP is 1 over K that multiplies asterisk. But we know that asterisk is in the first position of this array. That's why I place Y in position 0. And here we see that asterisk multiplies the uncontrollability factor, which is theta over tau. Let's remember that in our case it is L, which is the delay adjusted for discrete times divided by tau. And to raise it to B, asterisk, we use the instruction pow, which is to raise. So I'm saying that I'm going to raise this parameter to EI1. Let's remember that here. EI1 is the B asterisk, which is what is in the second position. We do the same with tau I, tau D. In this way, I already have my PID controller configured here. And let's remember that we already transformed that into a discrete PID controller. Let's then verify the functionality and operation of this controller. If you want to learn how to program this control algorithm, I've got something special for you. I've created a Udemy course focused on teaching you how to program and apply different control algorithms directly on Arduino. This course is designed to take you from the basis all the way to advanced applications using practical examples in real-world scenarios. Simple, click on this card or the link in the video description to enroll in the course at special discount. This discount is only available through these links, so you won't find it if you search directly on Udemy. You'll have lifetime access to the course and can progress at your own pace. You can ask me any question about covered topics and I will always be here to answer them. At the end of the course, you will earn a certificate of completion. So, I hope to see you in the course. We see the response of this ITAE controller programmed through the Rovira criterion. Reached set point took a while. We'll proceed as usual to apply disturbance at this point in time. For that, I proceed to ventilate. We observe that the controlled variable has already commenced to decrease. Let us then observe how this controller is capable of rejecting these load disturbances that we are currently implementing. Controller rejects disturbance, returns to set point. We'll apply a downward set point for testing purposes. We observe an inverse response, yet the controller with this tuning can still achieve the reference value once again. Once the ref arrives, we'll record this graph. I'll leave that DB for you to download in the resources of this vid. And we already have another new PD controller implementation. If you are interested in seeing the code and learning more about implementing controllers in real life using microcontrollers like Arduino, I invite you to enroll in the course. Click here to access the discount. Also, check out our playlist for more insights. I look forward to seeing you in the course. Take care and see you later.